Morning. All right, we are ready to roll out and uh, trying out a lot of new gear this trip. So wish me luck. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Uh, the channel name is Shoestring Martha. That was a flip flop. That's wild. Bastards. Morning. Morning, bud. Got our paperwork. We have gotten a lot of rain the past few weeks, uh, which is great. I'm obliged to say we needed that. Uh, but it has washed out some of these roads a little bit. Also, check it out. Doo -doo, right there. That is a crested swallow. I don't, I don't think I've seen one in the wild ever. Well, there's a nice little bloom right there. <laughs> Shake off the dust. All right, let's go. Well, damn! Every spring since 1946, the snow melt from northern Arizona has been held in Horseshoe Reservoir until its annual release from the dam at a rate of 2,000 cubic feet per second. It then flows down the Verde River and into Bartlett Reservoir. We happen to be there right at this time. A little exposed. I wonder if there's some more down there. Let's check it out. It looks like somebody left their whole tent there. Nice. Whoa, okay, it's getting, it's too woolly for me. <laughs> now I gotta reverse slalom out of here. Let's keep looking. Important to know where the bathrooms are. Okay, this is nice. And third closest to the bathroom. I like it. There's somebody here. Oh, Jesus. Ugh, we got noisy neighbors over there. This one is really close to the river, but the neighbors across the way could be a problem. Hmm. I might have to do without being by the river. I think I'm gonna have to go back and get nine. Yeah, I can't with those fools. You need a weed whacker to get to some of these. All right, home sweet home. There are carrion birds overhead, which is a little disturbing. It is uh, a bit trash. I heard that about these sites. Some limes and 
can tabs and bottle caps and yeah water bottle caps water bottle caps water bottle caps and uh most interestingly in typical arizona fashion just a bullet just chilling on the bench Definitely treacherous. Huh. Well, I don't think there's any fish over here. Mushrooms, maybe? Hold on. I think, I think this is miner's lettuce. I don't think I've ever seen it in person. Very cool. I'll have to verify at home, but I am pretty sure that is miner's lettuce, which is edible. Well, that'll do it for me. <laughs> Just feels like poison ivy down here. So I saw this idea of um, vacuum sealing charcuterie plates, so I thought I would try this with my lunch. Maybe don't do it with hard boiled eggs. <laughs> I call this the sports bra effect. <laughs> you can squish the pickles a little bit and the olives. Alright, so we got this um, habanero and tequila infused cheddar, hard boiled eggs with uh, togarashi turkey, pepperoni, and dill pickles, and olives. <laughs> oh, interesting. Now, I love pickle everything, so I do not care that there's pickle juice in everything. I see it as a flavor enhancer. Have you ever had pickled eggs? It's like pickled egg, so not mad. Now, I, I tried a little of this cheese. They do not hold back on the habanero. I don't taste the tequila, but it's hot. Woo! Lordy. Mm hmm. We just had lunch, but a little egg. By the way, total right call not being at that end because I can hear those guys yelling all the way from here. And they are way down the road. So, good call coming over here. Most turkey pepperoni. So you might be wondering, what is going on with this sleep setup? Well, a couple things. First of all, this new fridge that I have. It is a drawer style from Bodega Cooler. And I have been interested in trying a drawer style. Um, just because you can stick it under a bed and stuff like this. So to accommodate it, I'm doing this. So I had to raise my bed higher um, to just check it out because if I do like it and it's something that I'm going to use regularly, then I'm probably going to invest in a different bed. So I'm not going to get rid of my other one, but I might get like a cot, a short, like junior size cot or something like that. Um, 
I might build something. I don't know. But I just want to see if I can deal with sleeping, having this much headspace. Because you know I spend a lot of time hanging out in bed. Um, so I suspect that, yes, it will be something that I do sometimes in good weather. I'd say in warm weather. When I've got the sports cove up because I need to get to this and have my hatch open. I have to have my hatch open to get to this. So this might be a warm weather setup. And also I don't spend a whole lot of time inside when the weather's good. So I'm just going to be sleeping in there. I This is literally a party table. <laughs> I did bring, you can barely see with the blue lettering up there, my inflatable pad that I bought way at the beginning of this camping experience. So I'm going to put that up here. And then I have my floor chair to fill in the gap from this four foot party table. And uh, underneath there is my little folding table that I take everywhere. Underneath, I reduced, well, I kind of reshaped my gearbox. I typically have that um, under bed, uh, it's like, tub, like plastic tub. So I just switched to this little crate. And I pretty much have the same stuff that I normally would bring. I didn't have to really reduce it. Um, that's not Crown Royal. Those are my lights. <laughs> Which reminds me I should set up lights. And uh, yeah, so I got lights and fans and all my cables and stuff. That's my clothing bag. My pillow, which is actually a spare sleeping bag. My little fleece sleeping bag. And my blanket. It's only going to be 50 degrees tonight, so should be sufficient. I've got everything ratcheted down to the floor tie downs. I've got one down there and one at the end. Of course, the milk crate <laughs> encapsulating the butt end of the fridge and supporting most of the weight. I didn't set it up yet because if for some reason I wanted to sit in here, I have this whole work surface. I probably won't, but I could. like a bed. We'll find out. I saw this on the side of the Forerunner and was like, did I spill coffee or soda out the door? But no, this mesquite is dripping sap right here. I hope that comes off. <laughs> Seems to come off with water. So I'm not gonna stress too much about it. Well, I'm in your turf. Hi. Are you protecting us? Okay. Not dead yet.
a little something something I came up with. The main part of it is uh, jasmine green tea and uh, ginger beer and a little twist of lemon. And if you wanted to keep it N.A., you stop there. But a little splash of uh, Irish whiskey or maybe Japanese whiskey would be a nice touch. And that's what I did. Pretty tasty. Hey. Uh. Trying these new, uh, well, they're not new, they've been around for a while. I'm trying toothpaste tablets. So, the idea is you just chuck one of these in your mouth and chew it up and just use your saliva to add the moisture. They just look like, like an Altoid. <laughs> and then, you know, brush as normally. Work pretty well. I don't know what exactly the advantage is. <laughs> A little less messy, I guess, than a tube of toothpaste. Um, a little spendy, but it was a worthwhile experiment. Still pretty low. Well, my plan was to use my floor chair here on the floor so I can sit up and watch my movie, but Gunther's sleeping on it. <laughs> I just don't have the heart to move him. I mean, look at him. So yeah, my floor chair. So I'm using just uh, my pillow 
And I think I've got my clothes behind it. It's fine. I like to sit on a real toilet. Just flush. I just cook food. struggling with lighting. <laughs> My string light went out. So I feel like the battery life is getting much shorter on that thing. I've had it for a long time, so not super surprised. Uh, still a bummer though. So I'm making do with the random lights I have. Uh, unfortunately, two of them are outside and I don't want to go get them. But uh, yeah, Gunther got me up at 4.45 to go pee. It's now 5.30. I've just kind of been rearranging things a little bit. I think I'm going to make some coffee. That would be great. Come on, let's go. We're gonna go this way. Let's go. You lead. What kind of home do you figure that is? Maybe a round tail ground squirrel? This is where we turned around yesterday. Come on, we can walk it. Sure, the forerunner could have handled it, no problem. I just didn't want to get it scratched up unnecessarily. What do you smell? Rodents? Well, this little road seems to go on forever, so I think we're going to U-turn and go back to camp. Alright, I have one more piece of kit to try out before we head out, and that is this portable shower from Flextail. And my idea is this. Usually when we get back from camping, one of the first things I do is wash Gunther because he's filthy. So I'm going to try and do it before we go home. I was waiting till the last minute so that when we're done, just load him in the car go home. I could turn on the heat for him if he needs it. First order of business, I need to heat him some bath water. So it is just a shower sprayer. It's not a heater. Um, it is basically three parts. It's this USB rechargeable pump and this hose and then this uh, shower head uh, is detachable. There we go. 
This end goes in your water, your water source. So it has an intake filter. So if you had a fresh water source, then you could just dunk it in a stream. For our water source, I don't know if you recognize this or not, but it is the washer from Timu and they had sent me the wrong voltage. So I just, I took all the guts out and now it's just a collapsible bucket with a lid. I'm gonna put some air temperature water in there first and then we'll just add the really hot water to it so it's a nice warmish water. And then other things I have are his washcloth, which is brown because I wiped mesquite sap off my truck yesterday. Should be still fine. A little bit of doggy shampoo. And this is very natural, very biodegradable. I'm only going to use a couple of drops because we are near a river to dry them off. This pack towel, which I've had for eons. He has no idea what's in store for him right now. Just blissed out in the sunshine. Warmer, warmer, it's tepid. I'm gonna do another kettle. Oh, that's better. You have so much grass on your belly. All right, there we go. You stay, okay? There it goes. Oh, whoa! <laughs> no, I, I, hey, hey. <laughs> he was like, heck no. You stay. You are getting a bath. I'm gonna turn it down. Just a, we just want a little light spray. There we go. And get your crusty beard. a little bit okay there we go oh that was low speed dang all right You are the best boy. Yes, you are. All right, Gunther is bundled up and he's got the heat going full blast. Have the water available. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Sweet. All right, we are loaded up. Side is clean. Maybe a little extra clean. And uh, yeah, let's grab one for the road. Oh yeah, some caffeine. Hit it. Oh, yeah. Walking man again. Not sure if he's wearing pants. Morning. Should I? Of course I should. What is that sound? There it is again. What is that? Is there something in my car? Freaked out. Now I'm all concerned there's a rodent in my car. I guess we'll see.